Right, we're at the first car boot of the day. I'm not sure how many we're gonna hit up today. It is bank holiday Monday. So there's like a few which are open, but I'm not sure that all of them are open. And I don't really wanna make the trip to a really far away one. But we're gonna try and do some of the local ones. Uh, this one's about half the size of yesterday, but it should be good. And, and then we might go on to another one afterwards, depending on how much time I spend here. Smalls, are they? Yeah. Awesome. Have a look at them. Yeah. How much do you want each? Commercial. Right, just finished the first car boot. Uh, just found some naughty Nike stuff. The Nike stuff that I found is just amazing. The puffer and the t-shirt, can't go over that. As well as the Budweiser tee, that is just sick. I don't know if that's my size though. I'll have to see when I'm home. But yeah, we're gonna shoot to another one because we didn't spend that long at this one because it was only about half the size of yesterday but yeah let's go we're at number two now um it's quite a small low-key one but i have found some mad stuff from it in the past i haven't been here this year yet i only went last season How much is the polo? How much? Which one's about here? You sell her off? Yeah. Five pound there. Five. What about the Adidas? That's five as well. Yeah. Like. Right, just finished number two. There's only three or four rows. So I only spent like 10 or 10, 15 minutes here, which means I've got a lot of time left for another one. So I'm going to go try and find another one that I know of. And yeah. Just finished the third car boot. Uh, I didn't get any footage because there was nothing there. I didn't find anything apart from like this little night jacket that had no branding or anything. So it wasn't really worth a pick up. Uh, and then now we're gonna shoot home and I'll show you everything in the next clip. Right, we're back home and yeah, really good day out. Lots of t-shirts and polos and then a couple of outerwear bits. We'll start with them. We'll start with this one, the Polo Ralph Lauren quarter zip. Nice color, pretty simple piece, like 25, that's usually what I'd charge around for these, but some people do tax like, and charge like 40 odd pounds for them, but just a quick sale, like 20, 20 to 25, maybe 30, if it's a nice colorway and it fits well, but really good piece. I got it for two pound, I think, so just easy money. This is the gem, one of my favorites of the day. All yellow, Nike puffer white tag so it's like 90s late 90s simple swoosh there and then you just flip it around and it's just that all embroidered on the back really nice piece i think it's a size small i mean these tags do fit a bit bigger usually i know it's a size medium but it's not really my size i think i can wear it with the with it unzipped that's about as far as i can get but it's literally flawless i think the only flaw is just a slight rip on the inside. I got that for £2.50. It's just a crazy price for a back spell out, fully embroidered puffer, let alone it could be any puffer, £2.50 is just a bargain. But what I'm gonna probably do with like all the puffers that I find this season is just, I'm just gonna put them in a box and just save them all for the winter months because 
if I put it up now, like I probably only get around 30 to 40 pounds, and that'll probably sit for ages just because it's just getting so warm. But in the winter months, I think I could probably get anywhere from like 50 to 60 for this. Definitely, yeah, probably around 50 to 60, maybe even a bit more if I sat on it for a bit longer, but just absolute bargain. Definitely one of the highlights of the day. I mean, just the price of it, the color of it is just, I was gobsmacked when I found it. And then now we've got all the t-shirts and polos that we're gonna get into right now. Right, t-shirts of the day. We'll start with the football ones, just a nice Ipswich one. I think I paid a fiver for all these football tops each. Man U one there, and then another Ipswich one. Um, price wise, I'm not really a football top person, but just anywhere from like 15 to 20, 25. Around there, that's what I'd probably price them at. Next, we've got this grey tag, early 2000s Nike t-shirt. Just a simple center logo there, plain on the rest of it. I mean, I'd probably price this from anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds, probably around 15. Again, most of these will be on Depop eventually. This is a size small, so it doesn't fit me. So unfortunately, it will be sold. Then we've got this Adidas polo. I'm not sure, I don't really know my Adidas history. That's the tag there. It's, a, it's an old one, definitely. Just, I like the pattern on it. Simple logo on the chest, but then I've re I realized this after I got it. It's got this like silver little diamonds jeweled out, bejazzled 10 on the corner of it, which sort of downs it a bit. I'm tempted to pick them off. Still a really nice piece anyway, just with the colorway and the patterns on it. It's plain on the back. I mean, again, I'm gonna say it, just festival season coming up, perfect for it. Probably around a 10, 10 to 15 pound piece, because polos just don't really do as well on Depop, unless there's something special. Now we've got this French Connection, long sleeve t-shirt, simple center logo there. Again, another 10 to 15 pound piece, just Y2K sort of things. Size, medium, again, won't fit me, but it's not really my sort of thing. Now we're gonna get into my personal favorites of the day. We'll start with this one. It is the, the Snot Green YSL polo with all the logos down it, down the chest, one side. I think they're like, yeah, they're like a lilac purple sort of color. I mean, I've had one of these in the past and sold it for, I think 30, 35, and that was in a, a better colorway than this green. I'd probably price this around 20 to 25 pounds just because of the colorway. It's just not really, not really a colorway to be in. Now this tee, uh, I'm really sad this is not my size. I think it's like a size small or a medium. The tag's been cut out, but it is a Budweiser commercial tee from 2000. If you know, you know that commercial. I'm not gonna say it how they say it in the commercial because I will just cringe when I watch the video back. But if you don't know the commercial, uh, just search that on YouTube, Budweiser commercial, and you will see all the guys on the telephone doing it. Really good piece. It's just too sick to sell at the moment. If someone finds one in an XL or double XL, I'll happily buy it off them and sell this one. But at the moment, I'm gonna keep that one. Now for the finale of the t-shirts, the best one of the day. It is this, again, another center logo, Nike t-shirt. Just a simple swoosh, Nike Air. Gray tag, O2000s, fully white. I've, I literally bought a black version of this t-shirt about a month ago for 30, I think it's, no, 25 pounds off Depop. So that one is definitely gonna be kept by me. I was just, I was too hyped when I found this. It's just too sick. Like the black version, I'll show you it now. I've got it here actually. Got this one. I got this, this is the one I got off Depot for 25 pounds. It's got that lime green swoosh. Got that for 25. This one for four pounds. Can't go wrong. This is a size large. I think, I, yeah, I can fit that one. And this one, XL. Just two of them. If there's any more, if anyone has any other colors, hit me up, my Instagram, it'll be in the next clip. Just hit me up and I'll buy that off you. I almost forgot to film this piece because I didn't have it in the pile already and it's not a piece of clothing, but it is a store sign, Voy Jeans. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Could be anything, but there's a logo there. Voy Jeans, engineered for you. Got it for a fiver. Again, another useless thing to me, but I just like collecting just anything to do with brands, sportswear. Just cool looking stuff basically. 
as always, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, just comment anything you want, show some love. Still aiming for that thousand subs by the end of the year. And follow the Instagram, it'll be down here. Ryan's Finds, R H I N D S F I N D S. Thanks for watching.